Okay, to begin with, here's a few things you're going to need. Um, we've got a flat screw head screwdriver here for doing the uh, the light part. We've got a metal ruler, pencil, scalpel, scissors, and the all import important uh, glue gun here as well. To begin with, I've got four sheets of A3 foam board, obviously in white. And what I've done is I've not cut them down at all. I have just glued them on the corners and I've glued them on the outsides and I've also glued them on the insides as well for strength and I've just done that all the way around so there's my four-sided box the next part here that I've cut uh, was an A3 board and what I've done is this is going to be the base and in here you can see a, 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 sing, a single um, bayonet type uh, holder here, bulb holder. And then I didn't know how I was going to actually attach that to the board because you can't. I don't think you can really get a screw in there to hold it. So I was going to glue gun actually around the outsides of this. But all I've actually ended up doing was putting a, a piece of sellotape on the back um, on the lead. And it's actually holding it quite nicely. I don't think there's going to be any problems there at all. Even when it comes to putting the uh, the bulb here. Now I've gone for an energy bulb here. Um, probably not the best idea because what you may find in the first 30 seconds or so it's going to get brighter and brighter and brighter. So all I'm going to remember to do is to turn the light box on to begin with for say 30 seconds to brighten up before I actually take my flats. Um, we could have used a normal uh, non-energy bulb. Um, what, what I usually find is that with those um, they usually sometimes have some writing on the top and so you sort of get that sometimes in, in your um, through the perspex at the top so it's not very good. So that's how that's going to look and then that's just going to go on the top like that but the other way around and when I actually square the box up properly we'll just have a, a glued uh, bottom like that and if I need to change the bulb I'm going to actually take the lid off of the perspex in order to mess up. Right I've glued the bottom on now as you can see if I lift it up it doesn't fall out. I've glued it on the inside with the glue gun and I've turned it over and gone around the outside at the bottom as well just to give it some more strength. So if I now turn the light on, it's gone very bright there that's what my bulb's going to look like inside and now next I'm going to cut the perspex and see what depth I need to put that so I get an even light coming out from it so I'm going to do that next now what I've got here is my uh, white as you can see with the covers on I've got a 3mm perspex board I usually work with a 5mm when I'm putting perspex on the other side of an, an EL or a luminescent panel but this time I've decided to go for a 3mm board and as you can see here I've actually drawn in pencil the cut I need to make by laying over the actual box and then drawing a line on the inside to see where my cut's going to be and that's going to be my top but that's not actually going to sit on the top of the box it's actually going to come down um, a fair way in so that then I can sort of sit that the tube will be uh, down this part. Right, at the moment I'm just gluing some of these plastic corner pieces here that you'd normally make boxes and uh, kitchen units and put together and things like that. I've bought a bag of those. And what I've already done in the top, I mean, you see I've drilled a hole in the top. Now what I'm actually doing is now I'm glue gunning, as you can see here, glue gunning them into place in each corner and then what's going to happen is my perspex is going to lay sit on top of these and then I'm going to drill through the perspex and screw it into these holes here holding it down then if I need to change the bulb or do anything else I can then just unscrew them and take the perspex board out I thought that was the best way to do it right I've cut the perspex to size and I've 
finish gluing off, uh, gluing those corner pieces into each corner. Now what I did find was I, I did an exact cut on just about on the perspex, but what I found is the gluing um, pushed out the corners a little bit, so the corners aren't sort of 90 degree angles. So they, this, this took a fair bit of pushing to put this perspex in there because it kept catching on the corner where the glue edges were, where I'd put more glue. So I actually think it's quite well in here now and it's not actually going to fall out. So I'm not actually going to bother screwing, putting screw holes in these top in these corners anymore. Um, my only problem is now is if I ever wanted to get this out, how would I change the bulb? But I think what I'd actually end up doing is probably cutting a hole in the base and taking out the light bulb that way and then somehow gluing it or um, sellotaping the base back in again designing some way some easy way of getting it out anyway there's the light box as you can see there's the light in the bottom darkness in the top and then what we should be able to do as you can see I did use some sellotape here on the corners, on a couple of corners to make it steady. But what you've got to remember about this foam board that I've used is that it's very lightweight but it's also very um, sort of brittle and easy to break as well. And the outside is actually not a plastic, it's actually more like a paper. So if you put, as you can see here, if you put um, sellotape on here and then try and pull the sellotape off, you'll find that a lot of the, the white paper part will actually come with it. So be very careful with that. But hopefully the tube will sit on this piece, and uh, it's quite lightweight, a lot like a lot lighter, should I say, than the actual MDF uh, nine mil box that I began with, anyway. And I also tried LEDs, but ended up just going with a fixed light bulb, as I think the uh, it's uh, it gives a sort of an even light, anyway.